no vehicles, no vehicles past this spot right here. It's Robert here at Costa GX. Okay, so it's the next day, it's Sunday morning, and it's nice and cool, but no rain, no issues. It was good times, good people last night, and uh, we told each other, you know what, we quit fishing at around 10.30 or so. Nothing was biting. We tried different types of bait. We couldn't get a single bite. Normally I see a bunch of mullet swimming around and uh, there was nothing. There was nothing. I thought it would be ideal conditions. I mean, uh, we had a bright moon and you know everything was really smooth. No harsh winds or anything like that. But no, nah, we didn't get a single bite. We did, Well, the fish didn't bite, but we sure did when we attacked those T-bones last night. Uh, this morning, uh, first thing I want to do is uh, try to get those uh, fishing lines back out there and then perhaps uh, do a little, uh, make a little breakfast for us, for Robbie and I, and then uh, we'll continue uh, to see what happens. If we don't see a lot of activity, we'll probably, you know, consider picking up camp because there's a lot of stuff to do. really don't want to go home thinking that I didn't give it an honest try. I'm really trying to catch something today. And this might be my last hurrah for Sunday morning before we take off. Some people had a long way home, so they decided to leave a little early. David! How did you get it? What happened? I guess I learned that the 80s are, are not very good for security because I was able to, well, Jake was able to slide this open. And just like, I don't know, I guess it wasn't fully locked. It's locked now. Well, what did you think after a little wrap up real quick, man? Um, How would you describe this meet? It was awesome. Uh, we had a lot of people show up. And I mean, the more the merrier, that's all I really care to get people out, especially when there's families and kids. I didn't get to bring my family, but, uh, but yeah, next time, definitely. Uh, but I think it's a good turnaround. We got a lot of trash. That's, that's good. Um, the trailer's full of trash. Let's go dump it right now. And uh, this area's clean. This, you know, this where you were camped right here, Robert, it was bad. Yeah. Uh, now it's all clean. That area over there next door was clean. And, and it was cool because there was a guy over there with his family. And he saw us picking up the trash. And I saw him far away. He was looking at us kind of like, what are you doing? He got his trash bag and he, he came up to me. He's like, hey, thanks for doing this. He's like, Last time I was here, I wanted to do it, but I didn't do it, so I'm gonna do it right now. He started picking up trash, gave me the trash bag, and that was it. it so, it's contagious. It's contagious. I think people want to do it, but they, they, they understand like it's bad, but they won't really do it, because maybe some of the people won't want to do it. They don't really care to take care of the beach. But uh, it's clean. I think it was a good turnout. Everyone had fun. Beautiful weather, so no fish. No. <laughs> yeah. Badass, bad. One year, one year later, dude. And what a beautiful movement, man. Never thought it'd be out here. What's the next plan? I don't know. I mean, I feel like if you and David are uh, the leaders of the group, and whenever you're on the side, talk to us, and we need to agree with you all. So I'm excited to see what else we got planned. Hopefully, some trips with you up in uh, Central Texas, Lake Travis. Bring out your kids, do some swimming, cliff diving, kayaking, or something. 
God willing, man. God willing. <laughs> hey, but whenever you go out there to, uh, what was it, the lake, uh, let me know if you do a day trip on yeah. the weekend or something. Will do. I'll join you and I'll do some shore fishing. Hells yeah, dude. Well, I think I'm going to pick up instead, give up the fishing part, and uh, maybe perhaps just uh, start some breakfast for Robbie and I, and maybe, I don't know, pack up and do a little exploring. Tick top all the way down, you are at 16. A 16, bro? Nice. Oh, nice. that's good eating, son. And we gotta say thanks to this gentleman <laughs> right here. You're welcome. He's the one that provided the bait. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, you're like, give me half, bro. <laughs> So, Robbie over here, he goes in there, he gets a bite, and he gets this flat boy right here. How's it feeling, son? Pretty good, yeah. I didn't know I had a fish, but I reeled it in and I had a fish. So this, this is the first time I ever caught one of these, so it's pretty exciting. Can't wait to eat it. Hey guys. So I wanted to point out something. I, it's been brought to my attention and I will double check on this, but we are, just so you know, we are gonna be west of that camp area. We travel over here and I will, I will, put, I will post down, the, I will post down the, the, the GPS coordinates so you know where I'm talking about. But I'm gonna check on this. I've been told that we cannot drive, people cannot drive past this place right here. There used to be a sign right here. You can tell. As a matter of fact, is this part of it? Yeah. Here it is. You see this right here? I just found this. National Wildlife Refuge. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Okay? It's right here. No vehicles. No vehicles past this spot right here. So if you're gonna come out here, by all means, enjoy it, enjoy yourself, but don't go past this sign. As you can tell right there, it must have been broken somehow. It broke, but I don't think it has been replaced, but uh, just don't go out here, guys. Uh, we gotta protect this area. That's all I wanted to say about that. Okay, friends, that pretty much wraps it up. Robbie and I had a wonderful time out here. One year, one year coming out to the East Cut, one year camping out, one year full of adventures, and uh, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop as long as we continue to have the support from you guys, uh, which we really appreciate, and uh, you know, helping me uh, uh, grow the channel uh, you know I don't I don't see a reason why we can't just keep on going um, I encourage any one of you guys any of us any of you guys that follow us uh, and it, it's viewing uh, our content if, if if this is what you like if this is what you're already doing you know I encourage you to create your own channel even you know at the most basic of, of of productions it doesn't really matter you know but i met a lot of people out here this weekend and uh they all have a story to tell they all have wonderful adventures um but they don't you know they they don't care for it or they just don't know how to edit or they're not very tech savvy whatever the case is um but it would be nice, it would be nice uh, to share, you know, your stories. Anyway, uh, that's it for the video. Please share, like, subscribe. Uh, we're really pushing for those thousand subscribers. You know, we really want to get there. Thanks to you guys. Apparently you find some of this stuff interesting because I already have more than 4,000 hours logged in, in less than a year. That is pretty cool. I appreciate that. But anyway, y'all have a good one and expect much, much more content. Take care.
Ride alongside us as we traverse some of the softest sand. Learn from our experience or share your story with us.